welcome back to today's video all right so um some of you asked me questions on how can i set my brush settings how can i make my brush settings like yours and you know virtually questions like that all right so here's what i'm going to do <clears throat> i will teach you just a little of the brushes i use of the tools i use in sketching in smudging and painting and i'm going to show you my own settings on heat so therefore in the course of this tutorial i'm going to show you right now how i always do my now firstly the tool i would love to uh, tell you guys to use the tool i started with is this technical pen that is the tool i know that is the tool i first know how to use on autodesk sketchbook application that is the first tool i know it is used for sketching not knowing that almost uh all the tools that can be used for sketching is also useful and even much more better than this technical pen but it's also good now i will tell you even differences among the sketching tools is that okay so let's go to the settings and uh, this advanced here is that okay then come to prayer please don't go to all this uh, stamp nib and randomness you can go there but i don't want to get you guys confused i do go there but for some reasons and not on sketching tools like this all right so all you just need to do here is on pressure and this size with light pressure decrease it to 0.1 what is the reason let's sketch here can you see okay just let me decrease the size a little look at the edges of my sketches here can you see how smooth it is all right but if we go back and uh put uh maybe this uh size size with light pressure maybe we put it at 1.7 look at the hedges this is thick all right so that's just the difference good all right so you can still use so let's set it to 0 0.1 that is the lowest it can go you can as well use this fountain pen but you need to note something that on this fountain pen for example let me increase the size it is on black color for now all right but you see it's not displaying a uh, total dark color reason because the tool is not in 100 percent opacity you can see it here let's come to basic you see the opacity it is at 64 so you can increase it to 100 percent and it will be total black is that okay so for it also i will also tell you to put it at 0 0.1 so that the edges of your sketch can as well be straight all right so that's virtually uh, almost all the settings i do to my sketching tool now i can use this my technical pen to sketch i can use my fountain pen i can as well use this pencil and you need to note something about this legacy pencil with as no settings just the size and the opacity reason because it is already smoothened that is why you see many people using this tool to sketch all right and it's not as thick as others like i said i'm going to tell you differences and similarity among the sketching tools all right uh, i'm telling you the ones i do use to sketch now i'll use it to sketch but you see let me clear this uh this layer sorry i'm locking it let me clear it i've made tutorials on all these uh uh tools here all the uh, effects here all right you can go to my youtube channel <coughs> and watch all right so let's sketch one can you see what it's putting on uh, our board can you see that and it doesn't look like, like it's uh, sketching too right but look at this slant it has slant not opacity here slant now look at the size also so the size will be going with it's just like it has breadth without height all right that's just that's just how i can explain it but without height it can't be reset that i want the mouth to be straightened or something but yet this is where your soft eraser comes in now for example it is in 180 slant all right just like a semicircle now if i should draw something on heat is that okay and i want the mouth to be straight i will have to come to my soft eraser and settings i don't have amount erased all right i don't have actually i use any amount erased i wish to use and can you see the mouth i mean the sketch the edges is now smooth do you understand that all right 
so but i don't use it actually to sketch i don't use this marker to sketch at all uh but you can use this pencil and then this chisel tip pen my god it can sketch and your sketch will be wonderful but uh, you may not know how to use it exactly it actually takes a lot of learning and a lot of attention given to it before you actually master it is that okay so you can as well go to the settings all right and go to advanced and prayer all right and uh edit the size with light prayer at 0.1 but note the mouth cannot be uh be smooth can you see it cannot it cannot is that okay it only make it more uh little than the breath of the sketch do you understand so maybe i'm going to make a tutorial on how to use this tool to sketch is that okay so just let me show you just randomly how i use now so this ballot pen also uh, i use it to sketch you can as well use your paintbrush you can as well use this flat tip pen you can as well use your ink pen all right and any other ones you love to use you can use even this your uh, dream brush you can use your fine line pen you can use your paint temperate you can use your digital brush you can use almost every tool that that is used for sketching and even under this fine art i'm sure people that draw with their hands will understand better on it and then a uh, flat pen soft razor and hard razor so you may see me in my videos using this soft uh, airbrush to sketch now this is what i do i come to the advanced firstly this soft light pressure should be at 0.1 for me and then flow with every pressure all right let me decrease the size so that you can see it can you see now now i can as well edit this uh flow with light pressure can you see so the flow of the light pressure you will see it there is that okay so i can choose to put it on anything i want and then sketch and my sketch is there you understand me now so you can do the same to uh your add hairbrush now like i said the differences between these tools for example i'll just make two examples two differences this pencil all right now let me clear this this is for pencil uh this is for technical pen and this is for front tape. remember i'm not putting them in the same size so don't think that uh, the, uh, the size is the difference now and this dream brush uh paint tempera of which i think many people lo love to use let me increase the size a little all right now look at this pencil the size is faint and not so not so thick this is thick but sometimes it can be breaking now all other tools here they are um thick but in some sketches some are more neater than the others you get to know this by yourself is that okay and the similarities among it, among it is the whole sketch the whole sketch it depends on how perfectly you can use them do you understand that now so i'm going to make another video for you guys on the differences between this smudge brush and colorless brush is that okay so thank you guys for watching if this tutorial have been a benefit to you if you think it is very useful for you please guys consider subscribing to this youtube channel so videos will be dropping every sat every friday on this youtube channel so consider subscribing to this youtube channel god bless you as you do so